Artifact Anvil. Got you, got you. Heavenly Starter Pack, I guess. Sure, I guess. How do we play Heavenly? Kha'Zix reroll? I mean, if, that, if that's what the game is going to give me, that's what the game is going to give me. We could go, like, uh, Death's Defiance if we, if we can get it. Teemo? Mm. Lesser Dupe? I mean, it's kind of leading me in that direction. It's kind of leading me in that direction. Blistering Strikes, Iron Assets. I mean, Iron Assets could be okay. We could get, like, a Titans. We could get a uh, Hodge. There are a couple items we could get off of that. I think that it honestly might just be Iron Assets, frankly. Death's Defiance, and then we go... Yeah, so it's Death's Defiance. We'll go Titans on this guy, and then I think we're good. Do we level? No, we, we don't level. We don't level, but I also don't think we play Behemoth. I think we play Reaper. You know? That's just... I feel like that just kind of makes sense. We play Reaper instead, and then... Because this guy really shouldn't die. He shouldn't need the Behemoths to, to tank for him. Because normally best in slot for Kha'Zix is like Bloodthirster, Titans, Hodge. But if you have Death's Defiance, like just replace that. Just replace the Bloodthirster with it. You know? Kha'Zix reroll, I mean, I, I, it's it should be enough to at least like get me, you know, third, I think. If it's what I got, it's what I got. We just want to go Heavenly Vertical. Jesus. The game really wants me to go Kha'Zix. <laughs> game really wants me to go Kha'Zix. Absolute insanity. Six naturals and then a lesser dupe is kind of insane. Then Kha'Zix should stack up his titans very quickly because of Death's Defiance. Good. Nice. Yeah, this guy shouldn't take, shouldn't, shouldn't end up taking like really any damage anymore. I mean, kind of. Yeah, no, he's good. <laughs> That's crazy. I might even be able to go, like, fast 9 with Kha'Zix reroll. <laughs> I am one away. That's absurd. That is actually absurd. I mean, I guess we go Behemoth here, right? I guess. I think we go this way, just because, like, then we can kind of wrap around. There are no heavenlies on the exalted sheet, but oh my god, he's smurfing the way that he just that he just went to that back line. Oh my god, he's smurfing like actually. <laughs> Cossacks is actually kind of good. This is weird. This is weird. Kha'Zix on Carousel, I have it? Maybe? No Kha'Zix on Carousel. There is a spatula, though. Never mind. We go for the glove for Hodge. Yeah, we go for the glove for Hodge. And then we have full build Kha'Zix, almost 3-star. 
almost three star already. Wow. Like, actually. Is it ever roll for it? No, honestly, I feel like this guy should never die to begin with. Like, I feel like if he, if, if he dies, it's, like, bad game, no? There's no way I roll for it right now. Like, I, I've been handed this game on a silver platter. I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it. I really don't want to ruin it. So many of the teams are on, are on the left side, so I kind of want to go right. Yeah. I don't think that Sivers in his range is the thing. But this volley's on him, so that's pretty quick. That's pretty okay. Yep. Yeah, this team might actually just be enough, though. Like, honestly. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> this champion's crazy. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That's that's absurd. That's absurd. Sniper's focus on Lux though. Honestly, kind of crazy. All right, but I do think that that it is probably better to just position on this side though. Honestly. Yeah, because then he's gonna he's gonna walk around to that Yasuo and then he's gonna jump to one of the backliners. Like that seems way better. He's staying on the Yasuo. Interesting. Okay. Um we might lose this one though. Right? Unless he Is he okay? Oh wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He's insane. <laughs> that's that's ridiculous. All right, now give me a Kha'Zix. Oh, I don't even have to use my dupe. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is absurd. This is absurd. How much crit does he have? 80%? Nice. A completed item? Nice. Do we ever go even shroud in this comp? Is it ever even shroud? Yeah, I definitely don't think that I that I roll for Malphite. I think that I honestly just like go and then I get more value just from like just from leveling up heavenly rather than like worrying about leveling up the other guy. All right, so this behemoth is better because then we can play Yone and then we can do something more along these lines, right? We can go Nico here. I think that it's honestly probably something more along these lines if I had to guess. Right? We want to end up going, like, ghostly instead. But... Actually, maybe it's something more like these lines. And then we go, actually, like, even shroud. We'll go... QS for Yone? QS for Yone. We'll do even shroud there. Sheesh. Absolutely absurd. Honestly, like if we can find an early cane, I don't even see why we wouldn't go uh, why we wouldn't go Reaper Four. Like, of course, we just want to keep going heavenly and more heavenly and more heavenly and more heavenly, right? But like, it doesn't sound bad for Reaper from this point. All right, now only Econ Reaper Crest. Is that good? Is that good? I feel like it's not. I feel like Idealism is actually better. Because I already have the Hodge, you know? Like, Idealism feels better. I'm going to go Idealism. You know, it just, it feels better. Then I can go, I, then I can go that on Yone. 
We can level up and then we can put in... I guess we just throw in Kindred, right? I mean, we could do... We could do... Uh, we could do Arcanist as well. How much does he scale with it? 45%? So he gets like... Yeah, I mean, he gets a little bit more damage. I feel like, honestly, like, when you're just building for Kha'Zix, like, why not? Right? Like, why not? This guy doesn't have a Quicksilver, so he ends up being a little bit worse off in that sense. But I don't even think it's a problem. All right, game's over. It's a first. No, it's probably not a first. Though it is it is very easy. Um I think like he has a good amount of omnivamp, right? He has 15 from Hodge. 25. So he has 40 or he has 55. Somebody has a two-star Yone. Did I not just see a two-star Yone? I thought I did. Is it him? No. Where's the two-star Yone? It's somewhere out there. Was was I blind? Was I actually just goofed? I just goofed. Sheesh. <laughs> Sheesh. Uh, three-star Wukong game, I guess. That's 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 where we're headed. Three-star Wukong. I would love to take that Thresh, so I can get some more Omni Vamp from the Heavenly Emblem. But I am last pick, so just honestly gonna go for tank. Probably like a cloak. Riot heard me. Riot took it. Alright. I guess we'll just take the glove. The glove is, is pretty... It's pretty... You know. It's pretty alright. So, I kind of want to see the difference. So, 2013... 2034. So, it's not like it's a huge difference from from one to two star with heavenly but it's decent it's something you know it's decent this guy has the yone but he doesn't have a two star yone is it ever just like that instead just because he's gonna go to the back line anyway i think it is oh here's the two star yone how did i miss that he goes on the Yone. The Yone goes on the Yone. Nice stun. Yone's on the back line. Go, go, go. Cool. Alright. Alright. This is fun. This is this is deserved. This encounter is win or lose? Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. I'm honestly considering, like, what can I put in right now? Probably just Shen. Shen wouldn't be bad. Yeah, because the buffs don't increase yeah from non-uniques so just throw this in just throw the shen in for no reason other than that he's there yeah seems pretty okay now this guy that ash is actually a little bit concerning but he's not fighting me so i think we're okay two star yone shouldn't be enough to to take out my kha'zix here and yone is probably actually going to go on the uh, lux no on the uh, on the other dude. Kill the Sivir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
How, how tanky is this Kha'Zix at max stacks? 117 and 67 resistances. Very cool. Thank you, Riot, Riot Games. And I also get 14 gold. It's it's such a fast 10. It is, it is so ridiculous how much of a fast 10 this is. All right, let's take this heavenly here. We'll put in another heavenly. Another Hodge, sure. Or we could do, um, or we could do Last Whisper. Last Whisper seems fine because what if the what if the Even Shroud dies? You know, Last Whisper seems fine. Um, yeah, because then we can do this, right? We can do Redemption. We can do. We could put in the Duelist, I guess. Just put in the Tristana for no reason. Then we do just Last Whisper, just in case, like, the Eventrod dies. Then we'll figure out something else to do with this rod. Especially since Yone is going to go far away from the Eventrod, too. But I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be Kane eventually. Yeah, you see, like, this is what I was talking about. Like, that, like that Ash was actually a little bit concerning. But Kha'Zix blocks a lot of damage. Like we're like we're in a pretty decent spot. We're just looking for the for the last two heavenlies. Then we get double the bonus. Double the listed bonus. Now what's this? More people dance, more people loot. Honestly? I kinda don't want to. Kinda don't want to. I know that that's not necessarily fun, but I think that that's the better play. Like when you're ahead, I don't think you want to dance. Is it ever Jewel Lotus? That gives him 100% crit. It could be, but I think it's support cash actually, because then you could get like a Banshees. If you get a Banshees, then that's then then like he just he just goes infinite. Or like an Aegis. Aegis is good too. I think it's a poor cash. Morgana's great here. Yeah, Banshees. Then we do something like more along these lines. Because Banshees is crazy. Maybe we just frontline them, no? Yeah, maybe we do. Some call me evil. Shall I prove but I'll do this for right now. Go for Warmogs here. Give him a little bit of attack speed too. The attack speed's really good. Especially since like late game, what are you really gonna die to? CC. Two star Lilia, excuse me? Who gave this guy, a oh, he's zero gold, okay. I'm not really, I'm, I'm fine with that. Since it's, since it's zero gold, you know? Since it's zero gold. That Ash was also exalted, by the way. I don't even think I need to really do the Banshees here, because Yone's fine. What do I really want to do for... I don't know. For this last item, is it just like a Morello? I don't even know. Just a Rabadons. We're gonna put that on uh, on Soraka. Good job, Yone. Yeah, I don't think we're ever going for a Reaper. I think we're just gonna be going for more Heavenlies, honestly. We're going for Wukong, and we're going for 
Soraka. And we also want a cane. Just take the money. Yeah. I figure, like, I I'm probably gonna get, like, a... Like, another tier for a Shoujin here. Probably. We could even go Orn. Like, once we end up dropping the, uh... Once we end up dropping the Yorick, like, we could just go Orn. Yeah, once we end up dropping the Umbral. Don't need that. Zanya's could be a concern later in the game. This guy's got a two-star Lissandra, but a one-star Syndra. Insanity, actually. Okay. Okay, he's healing. Never mind. Yeah, that's what I thought. He's at zero gold, though. Faded Lissandra here is a little... interesting. How many Faded does he have? Seven? How many Arcanist? Four? Yeah, I mean, Lissandra probably carried that, no? Yeah, the Lissandra carried that for sure. I mean, like, I can, I can afford to just kind of wait. Just kind of wait it out. Because we go 9 and then we just roll there. Because I don't think... I mean, realistically, like, we don't need the amount of units that, that 10 will give us. Because what can we really splash in? We don't have any Heavenly Exalteds. We don't have any Reaper Exalteds. So... Kha'Zix, are you good? Kha'Zix, you good? Kha'Zix, you good? Kha'Zix, you good? Kha'Zix? Kha'Zix, you good? Maybe? Probably not. Yeah. I need to start hitting some power spikes. Still on a lot of one stars. We ended up uh, just kind of riding it out with this Kha'Zix, which is fine. Like, realistically, it's fine. We don't need to, we don't need to, like, use up all our gold or anything. Just use our health as a resource. It's like I have... Yeah, he does. Bard. With with uh, no healing, actually. No Gunblade on that Bard. He has a Gambler's Blade. Actually, we can... We can actually... We can probably go Dragon Lord too. Um, right? We could just end up going Dragon Lord. We did not get the other thing. We go Quicksilver on, like, one of our backliners. Or we could just go, like... Yeah, we could just go this here. That's fine. Um, then we just go the Altruist. We can go this right here for Dragonlord. I meant for Heavenly, not for Altruist. That's what I meant. I'm sure you knew what I meant. Then we want to. Then we want to find a cane. We want to find a the other dude. We'll put this on Soraka. Yeah, the other dude. You know. Oh, this guy hit. Good for him. We have the Morgana for when we find the cane. That'll give us Sage as well, which gives us a little bit more Omnivamp. How much does Sage give? Twelve. Yeah, it's it's not nothing. That's for sure. There's a better behemoth. We just play that instead. This dragon lord is better than that dragon lord. Honestly, this is probably better than than that right now.
Yeah, we'd even just do that. Gonna look for Kane anyway. Oh. Right, Kiana is, is melee. That kind of made things awkward for Udyr. Then Kha'Zix just jumped to the front. Not exactly what I wanted. Not exactly what I wanted. Two-star Huey back there. Sheesh. People finding their two-star five costs on level eight is crazy. Every time I roll at level eight, it's like, you find one. Don't think I want those. Yeah, that's the one I want. We'll play Kane. We could do this. We could even put like Quicksilver, Quicksilver Steadfast on, on him instead since we have this. Right? How do we make this like reliable? I think we do this for sure. Right? And honestly, it's like that. Maybe we actually hold the lease in. Maybe we do go 10. Actually, I mean, like, the Soraka. How much is the Soraka really doing? I mean, she's going to give us Altruist, right? She gives us Altruist. We don't need the lease in. We don't need the lease in. My Kha'Zix is in a pot. He's in a bit of kettle. My HP is dwindling. Give my cane edge a knight. Or IE. Probably edge of knight. Probably edge of knight. All right, I gotta roll. I need to roll. I need to hit some two stars. I need to replace this Lee Sin with with my Rakan. Cool. Cool. Do I need anything else? To star that guy, sure, but. That's actually huge. That's huge. All right, I think that was a big enough upgrade. I think I think we're good. I think we're okay. Oh, actually, I don't even know why I'm still playing that Morgana. Morgana's only getting me ghostly, which I don't even think is all that important, realistically. Like, how much? How important is ghostly? It amps damage for Kane a little bit. I killed this dude. That's cool. I think the play at this point is to just kind of go 10 and then put in, like, Diana for Sage. Diana for Dragonlord Sage. So we drop the Lee Sin out of shop. We drop all these out of shop and then we just go 10. Is that even... Do we, I don't even think we have time to go 10. Like, even on a... Even in, like, best-case scenario. I don't think at all. I don't think that's the case at all. I think that was best positioning. Isaac is kind of just jumping wherever he wants. Oh my god. Where is he going, man? Come on, Kane. Nice. That Bard's kind of doing it. We got top four. So, that's LP. Alright, so we have Diana's. Which, if we end up... We can't go 10. Unless we have, like, a crazy gold drop from this guy, we can't go 10. We just can't. 
We just cannot. Yeah, we're definitely not hitting these three star five costs. Other people are running them, so not happening. And then we're looking for an Udyr item. Jewel Gauntlet, maybe. That gives him 100% crit. Yeah. That's that's actually, that's big. Is it just me or are Story Weavers just too much this patch? Uh, Story Weavers, very prominent. Very prominent. Like, not gonna lie to you, it's, it's, it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. Alright, so we go... Can we actually, can we hit next round? Maybe we can. Maybe not. I don't know. Udi are kind of getting in the thick of it. Oh my god. Is Kha'Zix going to jump back to the way? Oh, he did. Wait a sec. The cane's all the way back here? Excuse me? Huh? Is this going to be a second? There's no way for me to do this, so I think I just roll for three star cane. Let's get rid of that. Three star cane. Sure. There's that guy. It's kind of who I wanted. I think we want that over this, right? Yeah, I think we want that over that. That's what it is. Attack speed. Okay, we're on the back line. Cool. Cool. Alright. Go, 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 go. How is, how is he at zero HP, but he's still okay? He, like, lost all of his titans on there? We just fought this guy, too. We literally just fought this guy. That's, that's such a shame. Because I think I could have beaten the, the the other like the other guy all right that's fine though i mean that's kind of what i expected those of you watching on youtube be sure to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell follow my twitch for more and i will see you in the next one goodbye guys